going on, Clashers? My name's Power Bang. I'm here with my co-host, Woody, and we are here to bring you the Champions War League Season 3 Finals. We've got two amazing clans in the studio today, five representatives from each representing 35 members all over the globe. And uh, we are right in the middle of this action to see who's going to claim the title. That's right, Power Bang. Howdy, guys. My name's Woody, and I cannot wait to see the best attacks in all of Clash of Clans, the most impenetrable bases, and which team will be crowned champion of the world. Will it be One Hive or Faked WGM? Faked WGM does currently hold the lead, 86 stars to 80, but it's anyone's game. One Hive is known for their comebacks. With that, though, Power Bang, I think we should go ahead and introduce the players. Absolutely. Never count One Hive out. We're going to introduce them first. first First, on the end, we've got Atoma619. All right, next up, sitting next to Atoma, we have Matty J. Next up, we've got Chris from One Hive. Next up, we've got Lord Byron from One Hive. Thank you. Last but certainly not least, for one hive, the longest serving member of the clan, Pero. And we have faked WGM. Let's go ahead and introduce their first player, Philip. Next up, we have TTD Black. Next up from Fake WGM, we have Wiz. Next up, we have Felix from Fake WGM. We have Yoop. We've had an opportunity to meet both clans. We've met Fake WGM, we've met One Hive, and we've got a lot of live attacks that are going to happen today. Guys, Chris, yep. come on! Chris is targeting a legend from Fake WGM. We're going to be looking at a hog attack here. We'll see if we can kick this thing off with a bang. Now, a lot of great work being done by the Queen up on the northeast side of this base. The Inferno Tower initially locked onto that Queen. They explode a huge giant bomb, though. Let's see if the healers can lock onto these hog riders. Unfortunately, the Inferno Tower does not Ooh. go down. We're dead. Unfortunate, yeah. but uh, that's the way it's going to end here for Chris on the first live attack. Do we have a player from Fake WGM ready to make an attack? Looks like we do. Wiz! Head on down, Wiz. We are uh, ready to rock and roll. Wiz starting to deploy his troops. This is going to be kind of an early deployment. He's got some minions on the outside trash buildings for some funneling. And then he's also got some bowlers doing some skip damage to try to be very efficient with his army housing space. These bowlers are going absolutely mayhem in the center. Avalanche of bowlers rolling all over the field. And it looks like a great hit from Wiz tearing through the Inferno Tower. And with few defenses left, it looks like his attack has done its job. Wow, guys, look at this. He's down to the final few deep defenses, still has a king ability getting through the wall. This is going to do it. Wiz is going to be celebrating the three star here for fake WGM. Solid attack, my man. I'd love to go to a replay of that attack and kind of illustrate what Wiz was talking about there with the Inferno position. We had the uh, the queen going down the side of the base. She is heading this direction. Only one healer on her. Really fantastic stuff. You've got bowlers and witches going down this direction. But check out the massive troops right in the middle of this base. Makes for a really, really, really strong push. The jump spell getting things down. Fake WGM. WGM currently out in front, 89 stars to 84 for one hive. LB going to be taking on Jonas here from faked WGM. So this is actually looking pretty strong and kind of an unconventional approach here. Again, as we mentioned before, the queen on the far side of the base from the main army composition. She is actually going to walk around being responsible for all of those outer flanking defenses. Well, it's wrapping up nicely. The queen finishing off using that ability at the very end. I do believe uh, Lord Byron had his friend Atoma reach over and smack that ability right at the last <laughs> second as they were sitting right next to each other. But really good stuff there. LB getting the three star. Let's hear it for LB. I'll, I'll go next. All right, Atoma. there's some uncertainty there, but it looks like Atoma's going to man up and take the stage. So there it is. Wizard starts things off on the right. 
looks like he's getting ready to make a nice little funnel there to enter that uh, little wedge carved out by the Inferno Tower. Barbarian King making his way down toward the bottom where there's a jump spell, nice and handy there for this next wave of the attack. Rage Bell goes down and it's a big group of troops that are walloping an expo now. Gollum takes down uh, the mortar, Valkyrie helping out, but it's going left. I think that he intended that to go toward the Inferno Tower. CC troops pulled out and are just dropping bombs all over that poor Barbarian game. Really solid play there, but bombs on both mm. sides here are gonna thin out the hogs. Unfortunately, Inferno Tower is gonna finish the job for a legend on defense. Atoma. It didn't quite go your way, and I've got bad news for you, my friend. Your, your teammates may have already told you. What's up? On, on the way back uh, to your seat there, there was another attack that just wrapped up on your base, my friend. Uh -oh. Did I get tripled? You got tripled. Oh. All right, guys, so we do have another attack up in store for you. That is you from uh, FW. Let's go ahead and take it to his replay. We're going to watch him uh, work his magic against Cobra Killer from One Hive. Yeah, it looks like Yoop is uh, going to be taking out the Clan Castle troops there with the double poison. Also gets the Queen taken out, so really high value so far from his heroes. And look at this. She even changes directions. Hog Riders screaming through the arena, echoing throughout the hillsides as they tear apart the defenses. Air defense is going down, but that's not the key target here. You got to get these uh, expos finished off. Looks like they did a great job there in the center of the compartment. Skeletons trying to whittle away at them, but nice heal spells coming in from Yoop are able to uh, keep them nice and healthy, finishing off all four Tesla's placed at the top here. Now, why would someone do that? Was that a fresh hit, Yoop? That was. It was indeed so many extra hogs that he didn't even have to worry about that trap. All right, Felix. Felix, 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 Felix. We have Felix in live now. He's taking on Indicate from One Hive. He's going to be bringing the Valkyries to get all the way to the core. Now, this personally is one of my favorite attack strategies. There is nothing better than watching a whole group of redheads all angry in a rage spell, taking out all kinds of a base. So here we go. It's on. There's that rage we talked about. Through the wall they go, into the core. Are they gonna go the right way? That's the question. Oh, I don't know. We got a nice big rage spell helping them out. There They're they trying go. to make their way in. A few of them do. They're gonna have to take out this Inferno Tower first, but some of them have locked onto the Town Hall. They're swinging away. This Barbarian King trying to get the work done as so well, but skellies. I think it's a little bit too late. The Skellies have kept them off their intended target. And with that, Felix is not gonna be able to get that two star. So many Skellies. Good try to Felix. Nice try, man. Difficult attack. Always love watching the Valkyries do their work. But this time, they fell a little bit short. Let's do it, Peril. Peril's going back up again for a second time, ladies and gentlemen. Peril, the top Town Hall 10 for one hive. He's going to be dropping down to hit number 20. And it looks like he's going to be bringing that Queen Walk Bowlers that you referred to earlier as being his favorite attack. Rage spell on top of this Inferno, and they're getting awfully close, starting to make their way onto the right side of the base. CC gets pulled out. It's a Lava Hound and Balloon combo. Power Bang, what are we looking at here? This is looking really solid so far. This is uh, a, a scenario where the bowlers managed to avoid the giant bombs in that compartment, and they are zipping right across the base, going over the second jump spell, cutting this thing off. Oh my goodness, this thing is looking really sharp. It's a matter of time now, guys. The uh, defenses are all in range for the Queen, except the Tesla that is right here. So we'll see what the Queen decides to do. She skips over it for now. She's gonna lock on to the uh, enemy Lava Hound here. Yeah. This is gonna be really close, guys. A lot of cleanup left to do. No cleanup troops left, but he's got a lot left on the field. She is gonna be targeting uh, that wall, and it, unfortunately, it's gonna be going through two sets of walls as it will be required uh, that she shoots over another one as well. So it's gonna come to an unfortunate end. Let's hear it for Pero, man. That was a, an amazing 99% attack. Probably would have liked the 100, but hey, man, that was a solid effort. Really good execution there. Now marching Black. to the stage, TTD Black. A hog rider aficionado. Wonder if they'll be bringing uh, that in today or maybe something different. One hog in this one. Oh, just one, just one. He's all got right. one hog, a token hog. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we've got TT Black going in. He's going to be bringing bowlers and witches and the one hog. He's got one goblin in there as well, so. And it's the same line of attack here. All of these troops stacking up at this five o'clock position, just about to make their way into the base. Oh no, a few bowlers have gone off in the wrong direction. Will that is go not back? good at all, Power Bang. Only one of them go back. He has had some bowlers. Oh, wait, oh, what are they doing? Best what are they doing? An archer first before they make their way to the bottom side of the base. 
Maybe he'll be able to pull this thing off anyways. The Archer Queen trying to pop down the dragon with a rage spell, finally, to try to give some more fuel to this attack. But it looks like the gas has run out of this push. I do feel that the plan is a good plan. It's just a matter of execution at this point. And again, the finest detail, the just the smallest misclick on uh, the tiles can send in those troops to the wrong direction. It's all about timing. And unfortunately, this time, the timing did not work out for Black. What hive? Do you guys have a representative ready to take the stage to try to secure a three? Here we go. Yes, we do. Maddie J. Maddie J. Maddie J. Make your way to the stage, my friend. So here we go. We've got Maddie J going in live now, taking on Wiz. Wiz gonna be talking on a little bit of crap from the other side of the studio. Uh, here we go. Maddie J though, number two versus number seventeen, and again he's got the miners like we talked about before. The corners funneled, taken care of. You can see exactly where he's gonna drop those miners in so that they go straight into the core of the base to take out the defenses that matter. Bomb goes off, a giant one at that, but it looks like uh, the attack from Matty J survives. Powerbang, what are we looking at? This is uh, this is looking solid so far uh, from Matty J. This is looking really, really good. The, the miners working their way through, staying together as a big group, and those heal spells when they're in a group like that. Guys, a minute and 40 seconds left. Matty J has already cleared all of the defenses in the base. Let's hear it for him. Matty J walking back victorious to the one high side. I'm actually quite excited to report that it is a draw right now between One Hive and Fake WGM. It's a 108 to 108 dead heat. Two attacks left for both clans, and this could not be any closer. Let's go ahead and send Philip to the stage. <laughs> So we are looking at 108, 108 ties, 78 attacks in for FW right now. This is uh, possibly the deciding attack right now, though, for Philip from Fake WGM. This base has only been one star so far, so the three star here would actually be worth two for Fake WGM and be able to put them at a dominant 110. This would definitely be enough for them to get the victory. Philip trying to clinch it for his team is going to start off with a massive Bowler Witch attack out the top left. What are we looking? Looking at power bank. And here we go, pushing their way through. Rage Spell is down, bombs are being triggered, chaos is happening, and we still have two abilities for the heroes to push into the backside of the base. King and Queen, the checkmate appears to be imminent. Philip is finishing off the final Inferno Tower in that base right now with that King ability being activated, tearing into the final compartment. The gold storage is not looking too healthy at all. Philip from Fake WGM is tearing this base apart. Let's congratulate Philip on his excellent performance performance here and try to find Let's those final attacks. <laughs> nice work, Philip. Holy cow, we have ourselves a winner. It has been determined. The scores have come in. It's going to be fake WGM. WGM has emerged victorious, but let's hear it for our finalists, One Hive. One Hive, you have been finalists twice here, joining some of the best clans and certainly one of the best clans of your own. Lord Byron, it's my pleasure to present to you the second place Silver Packet Trophy. Thank you, thank you. The Clan of the Hour, your first time CWL Season 3 Champions, Fakes WGM! <laughs> The Golden Pekka Trophy is Philip from Fake WGM coming up with a clutch three star attack in the waning moments of the war. Philip, was this war like any you've ever experienced? No, this was amazing. Uh, <laughs> I feel a lot of things right now, but uh, I want to say hats off to One Hive. You guys are amazing, and uh, you deserve to be here. And uh, great war to you guys. That is amazing. Let's hear it for both clans, guys. Both clans played wonderfully. Your final score, 110, 108, I believe. I don't have the stats right in front of me. Thank you to the fans. You guys are amazing for watching us, for caring about us. I know the clans appreciate it. Thank you to all of the teams and players that make up the entire league, the entire organization, all of the other leagues. Oh, baby, what do we got here? That's what I'm talking about. Fake WGM, your champions, everybody. We'll see you later.